Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to my review video. Uh, this was actually requested by quite a few people. Someone actually, a lot, some people left some comments. Some people actually hit me up on Discord to ask me to do this um, review video. I, I did not remember to do a review video for the Artemis when they came out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go in and, uh, you know, take a look at their stats, their skills and everything. Alright, so um, we're going to take a look at their max level stats because that's kind of the more important thing. Like it just kind of matters what stats they have with their max level. Um, the fire one's a tank. She actually has quite high defense and attack stats for a tank. It's actually pretty high attack. A little bit of recovery, not too high. So that, this is actually pretty nice. Uh, she has a stun, stun and taunt. 70% stun for two turns. She, so she actually has a two turn stun on her first skill for 70% and a taunt, 70% um, taunt. So she's kind of like, I would consider her like an alternative uh, Fire Shiva. The, the variant versions have resistance in dungeons. It's not too useful. Um, it might actually be pretty useful early on when, you, when you're when you trying to get into like B7, B8. You might be able to use her leader skill for the resistance. Um, but I think besides that, it's not that really all that useful to have resistance in dungeons, um, especially later on in the game. So. Yeah, stat-wise, she's actually, she's pretty nice. She's not bad. Um, the water one's a sapper. She's also balanced type, but um, her stat distribution is actually, it's actually kind of bad. Um, it's pretty bad compared to like the fire purse, for example. Her sap has an 80% chance to land two, two one-turn saps on first skill and two two-turn saps on second skill. Um, I think fire purse is actually better, like, because if you... If you have like uh, some units that, you know, maybe not even the fire purse herself really needs the siphon set, but if you have a unit with a siphon set, um, your your fire purse or your sapper is mostly going to be spamming their second skill instead of their first, which means that it's actually more important that the second skill is, is um, for sap is actually better than the first if you're considering her for B10. Plus her stats aren't as good, her attack stat. I think the only really important thing is the attack stat um, for sappers. Fire Purse has, I think, base 3,000. Yeah, 3,077 um, base attack stat versus versus hers, who is yeah a little bit lower. Um, I think she has a lot more recovery. I think that's where really her stats went. Her attack kind of went into recovery, and recovery really isn't all that important. So stat distribution wise, it's not she's not very good. Um, but I think she's still usable if you want to use her as a sapper early on. She's actually, de she's definitely not bad. Um, she's probably, I think besides Fire Purse, she's, she's, she is now the, the best sapper. Um, so, you know, that's, that's actually pretty good. Um, the wood one is, I, I remember her to be kind of like the light snowy. Um, attacks restore own HP and then attacks greatly restore allies HP in portion to the amount of damage dealt. So, she's very, very similar to the light snowy, um, Basically, she when she uses her second skill in nukes, she actually heals quite a lot. She also has quite um, quite a lot of attack, so this, this is definitely really good. Um, she's just I think I think Wood One is definitely the best out of the RBG because she can use her pretty much everywhere, and you, she can nuke, she can heal, she can do she can do pretty much everything. Um, she also speeds her runs up because you know if you're using if you're using her instead of an actual healer, she can actually provide the healing role plus be the damage dealer at the same time. So I think that's actually pretty nice. I think she is a Heroes Fest monster, so the light and dark versions do not exist. Um, I don't think you can summon them, but we'll, we'll take a look at them anyways. The light one has 3,500 attack, um, elemental edge on both her skills, so she's basically like just a nuker that you can use to nuke everything. Um, yeah, definitely not bad. And plus, like, you know, light monsters do have that base crit, so you can just basically just build her attack, or if you have like a ruin set, you can put crit rate on her. Um, yeah, stat wise she's good um, skill wise she's also very good so this this monster is really really strong but I don't I don't think you can get her yet the dark one I remember is a passive healer 10% um, plus a silence she is also she's defender type so her base HP isn't too high but it's not actually not that much lower than than a water purse um, stat distribution wise is actually pretty nice because she's really tanky so you, basically if you just stack some HP on her um, she's gonna be healing a lot plus her base defense is really high so you know, she if you have some like defense substats, she just becomes really really tanky. Plus, she has silence. Um, I think silence is really really annoying. Like if you land this, it's two turns where they can't use their actives, and sometimes that actually um, 
that actually kills someone in the arena, you know. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I, I didn't take a look at the Light Dark Vivians, or, so I might as well do that as well. Um, they are th probably going to be the next Rebirth monster, because usually they introduce the monsters and then they, they become the new Rebirth monsters. Okay, so the Light one is a Defender type um, with Seal and Stun. Stat-wise, stat it's actually pretty tanky, it's not, not too bad. 70% uh, seal, 70% stun. Nothing too exceptional. I don't. I don't think he's really all that outstanding. Um, the, he has an attack lead for clan battles, but you know, his skills aren't really all that good for clan battles. I don't think he's really that good. Um, Dark one is a is a battle rush. Yes, it's a battle rush plus um, adrenaline. So I think she, he can heal himself plus um, you know get get the adrenaline faster so kind of similar like to like the wood nightmare but has a little bit better self-sustain and um, you know obviously not as good stats because he is a nat 4 but I think stat wise this one's really really nice because none of it really went to recovery um, you can you can do like crit rate double HP or crit rate HP defense I think it'll be decent his base HP is not too low so I think he's He's definitely not bad, um, so yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for for the review. Um, I think so. Out of out of the uh, RGB Artemis, the wood one's probably the best because you can use you can use her pretty much everywhere for healing, um, besides like fire heavy stages because then she would get killed. Um, and then there's the there's the Dark Fibian. I think out of the light Dark Fibian, the, the dark one's definitely better. She he probably has more uses. He has better stats and everything. So. Yeah, that is, that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.